Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have three vector functions, v1, v2, v3, and we're going to calculate the gradient for each of them. That is the result of taking the del operator and multiplying times each of the vectors using the dot product. And when we do that, notice we take the partial derivative with respect to x of the x component plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component. Note that the divergence can be a function of position, so we're going to calculate the divergence of vector 2 when it's at 0, 0, 0, and the divergence of vector 3 at point 1, 1, 1. So here we have the three uh, vectors, so let's take the first calculation. We're going to take the del operator and operating it on v1, which is equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of the x component, which would be x squared plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component, which is 3xz squared, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component, which is a minus 2xz. All right, when we calculate that, we get here 2x plus, we have no y in there, so it would be 0, and here the, that would be plus a minus 2x, minus 2x, and notice I have a plus 2x, minus 2x, which is equal to 0, which means there's no divergence anywhere in space, at least not with vector field number 1. How about vector field number 2? Trying to find the divergence of vector field number 2, which is equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of, we have xy, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of, 2yz plus the partial derivative with respect to z of 3xz. And let's see what we end up with. So here that would be equal to y plus here that would be equal to 2z and plus here that would be equal to 3x. So we have the gradient, not the gradient, the divergence of vector field number 2. Now notice what is it equal to when we plug in 0, 0, 0 for x, y, and z, notice when I plug in x, 0 for x, 0 for y, and 0 for z, well, that is equal to 0. So at the origin, there's no divergence, but at other locations, there will be divergence, and the farther away I'm from the origin, the larger the divergence, which presumably means that the vector field is increasing as I get farther and farther and farther away from the origin. So now calculate the divergence of vector field number 3 by taking the del operating and operating on the third vector, which is equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of, uh, where are we here, y squared, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of, the middle term, 2xy plus z squared, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of 2yz. And what do we get here? So the derivative here, that would be 0, plus here, that would be 2y, uh, no, 2x, because it's with respect to y. This drops out. And here, the partial derivative with respect to z would be equal to, looks like, 2y again. Uh, no, plus 2y. So this is equal to 2x plus 2y. Now, if I want to calculate the divergence when I'm at position 1, 1, 1, that would be equal to 2 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 0. That would be equal to 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. So notice the divergence equals 4. When I'm at this location in space, it would be a different value for a different location in space. And that is how we, first of all, find the divergence of these functions, and then we can evaluate it for any point in space. And that is how it's done. Hmm. Smoke is getting restless. Oh, that's what it is. It's getting me hungry. All right. 23.